Hi, it's Nikki from Thread Collective. Today I wanted to have a chat to you about silk, beautiful silk. So, here at Thread Collective, um, we stock silks from a range of different companies. Swiss Mountain Silk, as you can see here. We also have um, silk from a from Ito, Ben, uh, and Maurice Brassard, but I'll talk about those a little later. So. To start with, there are two main types of silk. There is domesticated silk, mulberry silk, and then there is wild silk. Now the wild silk variety that we have here is the tassa silk. I'm just gonna show you the difference between a tassa silk and a mulberry silk. So you can see that the tassa silk has this beautiful golden sheen to it, and the mulberry silk is more of that white ivory color. Now that's their natural state. I'm just gonna start by talking about the yarn sizes. It is a question that we get asked a lot. What are the different yarn sizes? What do they mean? So with silk, it's measured in a metric yarn count. So an NM measurement. The metric system is really easy to understand. It's basically, let's take an 8.2 for an example, is 8,000 meters per kilo and there's two ply. So you divide the eight by two and you'll get a total of 4,000 meters per kilo for a size 8.2 silk. Another example would be a 22. So you would have 20,000 meters per kilo uh, divided by two, 10,000 meters per kilo. So a 22 is much finer than an 8.2. I'm gonna show you a few different sizes here. Now I'm gonna start with the finest that we have in the mulberry silk range from Swiss Mountain, and that's at the 32. Now this is a really fine lace weight and we have the 32, the 22, a 16 two. and I'm not sure if you can see, I'm just gonna show you sort of 32, 22, 16 two. Now I know the camera's probably not so clear here, so I'm gonna take some more detailed photos and pop them in the comments below. Then we go to an eight two, we've got a 12 two, and a 5-2. So I'm just going to show you the difference between the 5-2 there and the 32. So when it comes to yarn sizes, the bigger the number, the smaller or finer the yarn. So the 32 is obviously then much finer than the 5-2. So the 5-2 having 250 meters on this little skein and the 32 having 1500 meters per, ske per skein. One that I didn't show you here was the 10 one. Now this is the 10 one phlegm. Um, and it has this beautiful, very subtle slub to it. It's a single ply, so the 10 one, meaning 10,000 meters per kilo. It's a single ply, so it keeps, you don't need to do any division to work out what that meterage is. Now this is great for coarse spinning. Um, it's just a lovely single ply that you can use. Now these are spun yarns. You've, when um, we talk about the yarn types, there's also a reeled yarn and a spun yarn. At Thread Collective, we currently only have the spun yarn and we have null. And null is used from the waist of the spun yarn and from the um, reeled yarn. But the null yarns, let me just give you, um, so Knoll, I'm gonna go over a different brand here to show you. This is the Ito Silk Kino, and it's a silk knoll. And it actually has these little, it's got texture to it. It's not a smooth yarn like the spun yarn. Now this is a Neps, this is a Tussa Neps, and it is also a knoll yarn, but look, it's much more dramatic and it's a really textured yarn. This is beautiful, soft and squishy. Now, I just want to go through um, some of the different blends that we have. Now, while this isn't a blend, this is a very popular yarn. This is a silk boucle. And you can see that beautiful texture there on that silk. So the blends we've got are linen, cotton. 
you can see that the linen is a little bit whiter than the cotton. The cotton's got that little bit of a um, a glow, that golden glow, the golden brown sort of colouring. It's got a tint to it. Now I've got the bamboo. Now the bamboo is like a soft and squishy. It's almost like a cloud. It's beautiful. You can see those two. So that is the linen on this side, the cotton in the middle, and the bamboo here. Now they are our plant-based blends. Then we've got the cashmere, silk cashmere, that's just beautiful. You can see that, it's so soft. We've got a mulberry silk sea cell wool blend. Now, one of the yarns that I don't have here that we do have available is the Mulberry Silk Sea Cell. Um, we've got the Baby Camel. The Baby Camel is just gorgeous. It's soft. It's got that beautiful natural colour to it. Then we've got the Alpaca. So you can see you're getting all of these different tones coming through depending on what they were blended with. And then this was the kid mohair. You can see that this is more of a texture. You can see the mohair coming through there. So we've got the cashmere, silk sea cell wool, which is also known as marine silk, this baby camel, the alpaca, and on the end is the mo kid mohair blend. Now that is from the Swiss Mountain Silk range I'm now just going to move them to the side and I want to talk to you about some of the different blends, different yarns that we've got. So we've already spoken about the Silk Knoll. So you can see how you can, you just get this tweedy sort of look. It's a beautiful texture. Being a Silk Knoll, it is a little bit weaker than a spun silk. So just bear that in mind. If you are going to use it as a warp, you need to be really gentle on your tensioning or make sure it's all even. Even. Now I've got the Ito Sensei. So this is a mohair silk blend. See, it's just this beautiful, soft um, yarn and it's great for knitting. I've used it in scarves on my weaving loom as well. It's just it's so soft. Now, this one's really hard to show on the website. This is the Shishirin. It's a, oh, it's almost like a tape. It's a, you can see the single filaments there. See those? That is just beautiful. When we take these to um, open days or expos and people get to see them in real life, they are snapped up very quickly but it's really hard to show just how beautiful and unique these yarns are on, on the website. Okay, then just with the Ito range, we've got a blend called Tetsu, and the Tetsu is a stainless steel and silk blend. Now by blending it with the stainless steel, you actually get a little bit of, um, it holds this stitch. I'm just trying to find the end here. So you can see here, if you were to use this either by itself um, or double it with another yarn, it's just going to help hold its shape. It's not going to completely hold it in its like firm. It's not a wire. It is still a mulberry silk blend. It's still soft, but it does keep some shape. So that's the Tetsu. That's a really fun yarn to experiment with. Then we've got the Ven. This is the spun silk. This one is the 62. Now this is the finest silk that we have available. So it's a really fine, I'm just gonna open one of these up to show you. And we've got a range of colors available in this. It's available on the 25 gram cones that you've seen here, and then on some mini spools. That's the Ben. And then we've just put onto the website the full colour range of the um, for Maurice Brassard Silk Knoll. So you can see there, like 
the Ito Kino. This guy's um, made from the waste of the spun process. So it is a little bit more nubby. It's not quite as strong as a spun yarn, but it provides some beautiful texture. Let's see those colors. So that's a very quick overview of the different silks that we have here. If you have any questions, as I said, pop them in the comments, or if there's something that you'd like me to explain, because it is difficult to see yarns on the website when you can't touch and feel them, I'm all more than happy to do a bit of a product demo, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye for now.